The U.S. Government Printing Office traces its roots back to this historic document, Joint Resolution 25. President James Buchanan signed the resolution on June 23, 1860, creating GPO. 150 years later, on June 23, 2010, a replica of that historic document is unveiled by public printer Bob Tapella and archivist of the United States, David Ferriero. Employees and retirees gather in Harding Hall to celebrate the agency's beginnings and to kick off GPO's 150-year anniversary celebration. As we begin to celebrate our sesquicentennial, we've just completed our seventh consecutive year of positive results. And it's through the hard work and dedication of our employees, many of whom are second, third, even fourth generation of a family to serve the nation. The Crawfords are one of those families. For the last 100 years, there has always been a member of the Crawford family working at GPO. John Crawford is the production manager and has worked at the agency for nearly half a century. He is one of 15 family members to have worked in GPO's plant. Well, printing generally is a family, it's been a family-oriented business, and the GPO They've all come here because the GPO is probably the best place to work if you're going to be in the trade, the printing trade. John's son, Nick Crawford, is a graphic designer in the agency's creative services department. He is the third generation of Crawfords to work at GPO. With GPO being the family business, so to speak, Nick can appreciate and understand the agency's history. He and Jim Cameron developed GPO's first comic book, Squeaks Discovers Type, to showcase the history of printing and GPO. That's the cool thing that I, you sort of forget about day in, day out, you know, when you're here doing your job, the history of, you know, the place. That's kind of the cool thing, you know, how long it's been here. Employee families are literally the backbone of GPO. They are responsible for the agency's success over the past 150 years. Shelley Welcher and her sister Donna Sims are another example of how GPO families contribute to keeping America informed. They have 18 family members who work at GPO. Shelley is the assistant production manager and Donna is the executive assistant to the public printer and executive offices. See, I just remember as a, uh, as a, a, a young kid, um, coming down to pick my father up from work and at four o'clock the bells would ring the bells would ring and, and then, then people we would, would just go down pour out of the, <laughs> yeah people would just pour out of the building the men and women of GPO work every day to serve the needs of the federal government when two blizzards hit the Washington DC area in the winter of 2010 the federal government closed for days but not GPO Hundreds of employees braved the elements to produce materials for Congress and the White House. At the time with, of the blizzard and just seeing people just come together, they went through the snow, whatever they had to do. Some people stayed overnight just to make sure that the work got out. And I, and I think that, you know, those type of times, the, the, the times where we need to come through, GPO, we come through. There have been many changes at GPO since its opening on March 4th, 1861. One of the more recent occurred at the dawn of the 21st century in the beginnings of the digital age. As employees continue to meet the government's printing needs, employees developed a digital repository. GPO's Federal Digital System, or FDSIS, has become the one-stop site for authentic published government information. We've gone from doing things a lot more manually to an automated way, plus the digital has come along and that's enhanced our uh, work. GPO has many partners to help carry out its historic mission. For example, since 1936, GPO has worked with the National Archives Office of the Federal Register to produce the Federal Register. This daily journal of government provides the public with access to federal regulations and information. In 2010, the two agencies launched the new user-friendly Federal Register 2.0 to support the White House's open government initiatives. GPO provides federal agencies with the most trusted credentials in government. Since the 1920s, GPO has been producing the nation's passports for the Department of State. GPO also works with the Department of Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection to produce trusted traveler program cards. GPO is responsible for designing, printing, personalizing and mailing the credentials. 
GPO's print procurement business unit was created in the 1940s, and in 2010, the agency completed one of its largest procurements, the 2010 U.S. Census. GPO partnered with the U.S. Census Bureau to competitively procure nearly $110 million worth of census materials to more than 120 printers throughout the country. And for its entire 150-year history, GPO has worked with depository libraries throughout the country through the Federal Depository Library Program, ensuring Americans have access to the documents of our democracy. Our bookstore is the only bookstore in the nation's capital that exclusively sells federal government publications. A retail location was established at 710 North Capitol Street in Washington, D.C. in 1921. The bookstore was renovated by GPO employees in 2010, giving customers access to thousands of titles. Customers can also purchase government publications from GPO's online bookstore. And GPO's award-winning Government Book Talk blog reviews new and popular publications and discusses some out-of-print classics. And plus this agency, people seem to feel like a family when they come here. And they feel valued. You don't get that in every federal agency. And it makes a big difference in the agency. People take great pride in what they do. GPO has re-engineered itself many times to remain relevant and viable for the future. GPO stands before you today as a family of craftsmen who have taken the art of printing and combined it with the rigorous analysis, monitoring, and measurements of science to create a premier manufacturing organization that utilizes process management and continuous improvement methodologies to produce America's printing, digital media, and secure credentials. We're moving forward each and every day. The men and women of the U.S. Government Printing Office mark a milestone not many government agencies or businesses for that matter can come close to achieving for a century and a half. 150 years, GPO, through war and peace, boom and bust, has produced and distributed the official documents of our nation, all thanks to the efforts of employees, GPO's family.